of that. So <coughs> let's accept it and move on. Thank you. <laughs> Supervisor Smith, I'm sorry. Thank you very much. Just two brief reports. I attended the Russian River Watershed Council meeting uh, a short time ago, and uh, <coughs> a number of topics were discussed. I think the, m the most important was the one that we addressed earlier, although that request came after the meeting that we write a letter uh, on behalf of that issue on the the confusion and concern around AB 2121. So we, we've already talked about that this morning. I also attended the Bureau of Land Management RAC meeting in Northern California. It was a very positive meeting, very productive. We had an update on the coastal national monuments and the gateways. The Trinidad Gateway is the furthest one that's been developed with brochures. And there's a definite <coughs> economic development component that they're fo the folks there are very happy with and they've partnered on. The second one that's coming along is the Point Arena Gateway. So it's the second one to progress through and is also being well received. Um, another thing that was talked about is this concept of geotourism. The National Geographic Institute has partnered with BLM and they have prioritized uh, Northern California to do various things on um, tourism and travel and this concept of geotourism, which gives the focus of um, uh, well, the quote is, tourism that sustains or enhances the geographical character of a place, including its environment, cultural aesthetics, heritage, and the well-being of its residents. And it's the tourism approach that's being applied to the gateway concept as well. So that was very well received. And they are in touch already with our promotional alliance folks on, on bringing this concept forward and really enhancing <coughs> tourism on the coast. And they prioritized uh, Northern California. I, didn't, I don't think they felt they could deal with Southern California in this, but it is a statewide concept. They're going to begin in the north. We also had an update on Cal Mountain, and Rich Burns gave an overview, the concerns of the citizens, concerns of the county on the Mill Creek access issue, uh, what our most recent developments were on that. Uh, and that was a good venue to talk about it, because off-road vehicle um, community is well represented at the RAC. Uh, they're also supporting our requests uh, in providing letters of support for the additional money for the Mill Creek uh, project, which doesn't deal with all of the issues, but it's still something that the county uh, has to take responsibility for. So if we can get that second allocation of funds in the long run, I think that's going to help. <coughs> but uh, Rich Burns referenced uh, the deputizing of their um, staff and that he's going to work with the sheriff on that also talking about the educational components and they're going to amp that up in the beginning in the late spring or early summer so i i think a good uh, airing of those issues was was presented so the larger blm community has an understanding of that as well as the director who is present at the meeting thank you thank you and um uh for the record, I'd like to publicly thank you for the work that you've done on the Mill Creek Road access situation and the, the off-road vehicle uh, park. Um, I think it's very critical um, that we follow through and we finish up with that project and eventually have that second uh, primary access. And, uh, it's good that you're mentioning that because at the RAC, we also talked about that the RAC can't officially be requesting dollars from Congress to do anything. but. We talked among ourselves, said we'd get it on our next agenda, and there's definitely interest in the OHV community and the um, environmental community knowing what uh, the use that Cal Mountain, is getting, Cal Mountain is getting and the lack of funds in the Wilderness Bill to address that, that I think there's going to be some efforts that might begin at the RAC but go outside the RAC to try to really push forward getting additional funds for the management there and really pushing on that second access issue also. Thank you. A couple, I had a couple items. Um, I attended a, uh, a stakeholder workshop with the Department of Forestry last week down in Napa in regards to uh, local government contracts. And uh, one particular item I found very interesting was uh, their administration fee for their contracts, such as for our dispatch. Um, they had no historical justifiable position on a administrative fee percentage and they've just recently uh, hired a new uh, budget officer and she came over from high patrol and has now established a fully justifiable administrative charge that will be applied to every contract in the county or in the state it's never been done before 
And by doing this, it actually lowered the percentages by over 2 percent to an administrative fee of 9.63, I believe, uh, from 11 point something something. And uh, um, I don't know if they've been called on the carpet on it or whatever, but uh, CDF finally does now have a justifiable administrative fee. Um, one of the very small particular interesting things that we learned that day, I turned over a big binder of information to uh, the CEO f finance officer, Jennifer, um, and on to uh, the CEO. Another item um, that we took up last week, uh, Supervisor Delbar and myself uh, participated in the actual necking down of the gate at Mill Creek Dam uh, along with County Council and uh, um, I believe Supervisor Delbar uh, needs to be publicly thanked for his behind-the-scenes work that he did um, in making contacts time and time again with Department of Fish and Game and some of the f uh, water and fisheries people um, through these contacts, uh, being able to go to Sacramento and go to Washington, that's where experience counts. And that's where these trips, maybe on an individual basis, they don't provide something, but they provide contacts and ways to um, be able to accomplish things on an individual basis. And, and uh, Mike, I just want to thank you for the work you did to allowing a public resource to be restored uh, by this summer, and uh, I just wanted to thank you for that. Um, did, did you put oil on that screw so it don't stick again? <laughs> the maintenance will be provided. And one last item, um, it's been reported in the paper last week of uh, the Area Agency on Aging uh, removal of funding for the Indian Senior Center, and uh, unfortunately it was cast in a very poor light of the removal of that funding towards AAA. And uh, let me assure you <coughs> that having been a AAA board member for the last two years, this was a very long forthcoming decision to cut that funding. Uh, the AAA board and the staff have worked hours upon hours upon hours working with the Indian Senior Center to pick up and, and, and just achieve the stand, level of standards that all other uh, <coughs> food systems in, in senior centers throughout the two counties have already attained. And this has been an ongoing educational process. Unfortunately, the Indian Senior Center just not, could, could not achieve and maintain those level of standards. And so to protect the AAA, uh, JPA, uh, the unfortunate decision was made to cut their funding and uh, Plowshares is picking up the slack on an interim basis until the end of June and uh, which time uh, the Indian Senior Center can come back and bid on a, a project for next year uh, they're not not precluded from doing that but I just felt I needed to comment that AAA has been played in a very poor light in the press it was not the AAA's problem it was the Indian Senior Center's problem. So I just wanted to make that clear to the board members reporting back. Um, we've worked on that for two years, and we just had to draw it to a close. Um, do we have any reports from the Public Resources Committee or General Government Committee other than what we've discussed today? No. Okay. Not really nothing to report out. No, General government in terms of the um, uh, enhanced um, ability for the public and, and staff to utilize um, online services. We should report in out on that as well. We did we touched on the legislative issues when Mr. Kaler was here, but we had an excellent report uh, and we had options prepared by the clerk of the board. We had an 